let's look at this identity complementary angles you already know the meaning of sine theta right that is sine theta is equal to opposite what is facing you what is facing this angle opposite over hypotenuse the longest line you know that no doubt you also know cos theta that is adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent the one that is close to this angle which is b over the longest line which is c then we have tan theta which is opposite over adjacent what is facing you over what is close to you you know this okay for you to have the same thing a over b what it means that cosine we go and take 90 minus theta cosine take this sine we take this the same thing with this tan take this cot we take this okay these are complementary so it means if you say cos this angle is equal to a over c if you say sine this angle is also a over c so we're going to make this one say number one the two is talking about tan tan theta we agree that is equal to a over b do you know if you go ahead now say sine theta over cos theta if you do this now let's see what will happen it means we should carry this sine theta we carry this a over c at the top the cos theta cos theta b over c at the bottom okay if you calculate this work out this mathematics it simply means a over c multiplied by c over b you take this one and what rotate it you're going to have a over b at the end of the day what we have here tan theta a over b we are having it for sine theta over cos theta a over b it therefore means that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta these are very important when you are faced with questions you need to understand all these gimmicks there is another thing we need to prove very fast the third one is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one we need to prove this out okay what we're gonna do now we are gonna carry this at take down okay if you look at this now you agree with me this is theta this is the complementary angle a b c now using pythagoras theorem you agree with me i can say here a square plus b square is equal to c square okay it's like that pythagoras theorem let's divide throughout by c square we divide throughout by c square because we want to prove this here we give us one you agree with me this will give us a over c square plus b over c square equals to one after we have done that the next thing now is to investigate the meaning of a over c a over c in respect of this angle a over c that is sine sine theta what is b over c i just said hypotenuse that is cos cos theta now instead of writing this you can simply write it as this the same thing either you put it like this or like this so therefore i can come here now to say sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to one as you can see this is what we are trying to prove as you can see when these two siblings step brothers you have square you have square if you bring them together you have one they are family they are one family okay but you must square sine as square cosine you're going to have one so put this at the back of your mind you also put this 
at the back of your mind that sine over cosine is equal to tan. Then you also put all this at the back of your mind, which you already know. But the only thing is, anywhere you see sine for cosine is 90 minus theta. Anywhere you see cosine for sine is 90 minus theta. Anywhere you see tan for cos is 90 minus theta. If it was like this now, cos 90, the other will be what? Tan 90 minus theta. Complementary angles. Okay? Now that we have this, we want to divide throughout by sine squared theta. Sine? Square theta. You see what we are doing? We are dividing this throughout by sine square theta. This will give us 1. Plus, this will give us cos theta over sine theta. Because 2 is here, 2 is here, we can put the 2 here. This is t, this theta, we can put square here. What is this? Cosine over sine. What is that? Remember, we said sine over cosine is tan. Sine over cosine is tan. If you change it, you have the friend of tan, which is cot. Sine over cosine is tan. If you change the position, you are calling the friend, which is cot. Therefore, we can say 1 plus this cot theta square equals to what is 1 over sine theta? Anything where you put 1 over sine theta. What is that? Remember? Cosec. Cosec. That is cosec theta. We put the 2 here. We can rewrite this like this by say 1 plus cot square theta equals to cosec theta square theta. Okay? Another one. So if you want to write it like this, or you see some books, they write it like this, you are still good to go. Okay? Because we divide throughout by sine square theta, it is also good we try cos square theta. So now we go further. This is what? The third one, this is the fourth one. We want to go for the fifth one. Let's say sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. We divide by cos square theta, cos square theta over cos square theta. Okay? Now, you agree with me, this already is 1. This we can rewrite as sine theta over cos theta. We put square here, put one here, we put one over cos theta, everything square. What is the meaning of this? Sine theta over cos theta. Sine over cosine is tan. Plus one equals to what is the meaning of one over cosine? That is sec. That is sec. Theta square, okay? We can write this as this. Okay? So this is another one, the fifth one. Either you write it like this or one before that square theta. You see what we have done now? We have five now in this identity complementary angles. Now, for the identity complementary angles, let me show you how to record them. Very easy. When I have sine theta, I know I will have cos 90 minus theta. If I have cos theta, I know I will have sine 90 minus theta. If I have tan theta, I know I will have cos 90 minus theta. Okay? Complementary. After this first group, Tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. Okay? The next one is sine square theta. These are what siblings. If you square this and square this, you're going to have one. Okay? The next one is this. If 
you think you have power, you scrap pan theta. You had one to eat, you are going to sick. I will tell you, ah, I know that is sense square theta. If I had cos square theta, I had one to eat, I am going to cosec square theta. How did I recall all this? I recall them because I already know that these guys, they are complementary. These guys, they are complementary. So if theta is here, theta is here, the other side will be 90 minus theta, 90 minus theta, 90 minus theta. That is the first one. I also know by default that when tan want to relate with sine and cosine, sine will say I will be at the top, cosine will be at the bottom. Okay? You get it? Then, in these two families, two siblings want to come together, I will square sine, I will square cosine, they are equal to one, one family. The last one is where the trick is. Look at it very well. Tan are caught. Are they not related? Are they not complementary? Are they not always opposing themselves? One over tan is equal to cut. It means, therefore, if I'm squaring tan, I have one to tan. What do you think I should be going towards? Between sec and cosec. Think. As you can see, this guy cut. Cut. So if I had cos square theta plus one, on the other side, I will have cosec square theta. If I have tan square theta plus one, I will have one without cut. Remember that these two, they are inverse of sine a cosine okay so if there is a battle between these two to win this and this cock and cock will come together the one without cock they will come together learn to memorize this also know how to derive them which i've already shown to you hope this is understood thank you for doing let's look at this this is very tricky you need to apply identity complementary angles. Remember, sine and cosine, they complement themselves. That is to say, if I ever have sine theta, on the other side, I will have cos 90 minus this angle theta. If I ever have cos theta, I will have 90 minus this theta. They are complementary. That is what we are going to use here. If this is equal to this, we should find theta. Oh, find theta. What I want is sine 90 degree minus this equal to. I want to replace this cosine with sine. This cosine, I want to replace it with the sine. I want to have something like this sine something something. So that at the end of the day, I will just in my memory remove this and remove this then i equate whatever that is here to whatever that is here that is where i want to work towards okay if i am putting sign here what can i put here now your next thought now is this group are not together here this is what i'm thinking this group cosine 180 minus theta if sign is coming in to equate cosine on the other side is 90 minus whatever that is here. Whatever. Even though you put human be here, what I bring sign is 90 minus the human be. Whatever. If I say, for instance, sign a car. Okay? If I'm bringing cosine is 90 minus the car. Okay? It's 90 minus what? The car. So, here now, I don't care to know whatever they put there for me to use. I don't give a damn shit. I don't care at all. What I'm interested in, I want sign here. For me to put sign here, I will just say 90 minus whatever I see. It's 
simply minus 180 minus theta. That is what is there. What is there is what I brought here. Remove from 90. Now I can equate these two perfectly. Now that I've equated them in my thought, I assume this are gone. What is remaining is 90 minus 50 equals to 90 minus 180 minus theta. That's all. <laughs> See? Now, 90 minus 50 is equals to 90 minus 180 plus theta. Okay? So with this now, I know this will give me 40. I know this will give me minus 90 plus theta. This come to this side to join 40. Theta will be alone. It means therefore theta is equal to 130 degree. Okay? But assume why I was solving this. I said, I don't want to go through that route. I want to replace this with cosine instead of this side. I will say sine 90 degree minus 50 degree is equal to cos 180 minus theta. Please forgive me for missing the colors. Okay? Now, I'm not saying I don't want to replace this. I want to replace this. I want to replace it with cosine. Remember, whatever that is here, 90 minus it. 90 minus whatever that is here. They are complementary. Huh? So, I will not leave here now. Cosine here. 180 minus theta. It must not be on this side alone. Okay? Now, I can solve this. I will assume this guy has disappeared. They have cancelled themselves. Here now is 90 minus 90 plus 50. 90 minus 90 plus 50 equals to 180 minus theta. This and this we go 50 equals to 180 minus theta. Theta come here, 50 come here. Theta equals to 180 minus 50 equals to 130. Are you not see we are getting the same answer anywhere you go? Eh? Okay, like this. Oh, I'm not too fast, okay? Anywhere you go, this side, this side, should arrive at the same answer, okay? All this is understood. Thank you for viewing. Look at this. Look at this one again, oh. Another question, oh, okay? Listen. If sine this is equal to cos this, prove that tan s is equal to 1. What is that? Remember, complementary angles identity complementary angles when there is sign and cosine looking at themselves you can either go this way or you go this way if you have watched the previous video you understand what i'm saying simple they are always complementary sign is saying if you see me on the other side you can conveniently put 90 minus the angle the theta cosine is also saying if you see me on the other side, you can say 90 minus the angle. They are complementary. If this one take theta, the other side will take 90 minus theta. Now, it's no longer theta. It's now S minus alpha. But the question says, would you find tan X? It means we should use this one to find X. Is after you get S, you now find tan S. Without S, you can't find tan S. So this first group will only help us to find X before we introduce tan. Okay? Now, let's continue. Okay? So now, I have sign here now. But I have cos here. I want to go with sign. X minus alpha equals to. I want Sign to also be on the other side. What is the purpose of that? Because if I have sign something, I can easily say this and this cancel in my thoughts. So that I can equate this and this. So because I want to bring sign here, what I will do now, this guy is already here. No problem. This equal to is already here. No problem. 
this is the side I will be looking at now. I will say, for sine to replace cosine, mm -hmm. is simply whatever that is here should be removed from 90 degrees. Assume it was a house that I met here. I will say 90 minus the house. If it was your car, I will remove the car from here. But it is not car, it is S plus alpha. So what I will do now, I will remove X plus alpha from this other side. That's all. So what I need to do now is to, in my memory, to assume that this one is gone, then I will quit this and this together. That is, whatever I see here, inside, inside the tummy of the sign is equal to whatever is in the tummy of the other sign. Baby on the inside equals to baby on the inside. That is, S minus alpha equals to 90 minus S plus alpha. Okay? That is to say, S minus alpha equals to 90 minus alpha minus alpha. Okay? I will pull S here. I'm going to have S plus X. Then I pull this guy to this side. That is 90 minus alpha plus alpha. You agree with me? This two will strike out to have 2 X 90. Divide both sides by 2. This and this will cancel. This here 1. This here 45. That is to say, therefore, S equals to 45 degree. Now that I have 45 degree, I cannot introduce tan S because we are asked to find or to prove that tan S is equal to 1. Therefore, I will say tan X now is equal to tan 45 degree. What is tan 45 degree? That carry us back to a special angle called this. That is, if I draw this out now, you agree with me for special angle, if here is 45 degree, here is 45 degree. Here is 1, here is 1, here is the square root of 2. Okay? It therefore means tan is opposite over adjacent. So tan x still remains tan 45, tan 45. Opposite 1 over 1. That is replacing this now. Opposite, which is therefore tan s equals to 1. That is the answer. Okay? Hope you understand the step. If you don't understand, go to the beginning of this session on trigonometry. Look at all the videos before you come to this particular video because we are building each knowledge on the previous knowledge of the previous video. Thank you. Come and see again, oh. There's another question on the board, oh, for us to solve, oh, okay? Don't run away. Look at this. If sine this is equal to this, what is this? Oh! Sin S degree is equal to A over B. Oh, what is sine 90 minus X? Don't be confused. Go and put this in a table. Okay? S. Okay. Sine opposite. Over hypotenuse, okay? A over B, okay? They say, what is a 90 minus X? It's a 90 minus S. Huh? This is Cito. If S is here, here is 90 degree. If S is here, what will be here now? It's 90 minus X. Okay? 90 minus X, okay? They are not asking you to find sign this. Sign this is opposite over hypotenuse. But we don't know here. First of all, we find here. Remember Pythagoras theorem that says if you want to get here, if you want to get here now, say B square minus A square, you find the square root. Do I need to break this down again? I don't need to break this down because we have already treated Pythagoras theorem in this channel. All you have to do so go back to Pythagoras theorem. The longest one, you square it, minus this. We find the square root to get this other side. Now that we have this other side, let's go back. Sign this, sign this, 
Hop und sitz. Hop und sitz. Over. I put the news. That is all. No issue. That is all. Very easy. If you are in India, say okay, huh? Very easy. Easy, huh? Another question. Another question. This is the type of question some students will see without coming down. They start crying. <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Tell me what? Very easy. Easy, huh? What is easy here? Remember identity complementary angles. Remember, I told us in one of the videos sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. What are you seeing here? Is simply what? Sine square theta equals to one minus. It means we can replace whatever I see here now with sun square theta all over. What about this guy? Remember, remember, <laughs> remember, we also establish that cosec and sec, okay, when you add one to something. Remember, what is that thing? It is either going towards cosec squared theta or sec squared theta. Now we have sec squared theta. Remember, it is tan that goes towards what? Sec. Why? Co, co, cot. Square theta plus one goes towards cosec. Co, co. Cot, cosec. Sec tan. So because this is this, it simply means what they are telling us is Tan! Woke up one day, a hardened one is going towards sec square theta. Now, I move one to this side to have tan square theta equals to sec square theta minus one. So it means therefore I will replace this one with tan square theta. Okay? No issue. Easy, huh? Sin theta over tan theta, we make everything square. Okay? Let's continue. This is what? Square? Square root. Square root with cancel square. Indices. To have sin theta over tan theta. You can also express this as what? This one, can express it as what? Sin theta divided by tan theta. It's not the same thing. This can also be represented by what? Divide. What is the meaning of tan? Because they ask us to simplify. We are simplifying. Is sin theta over cos theta. Do you remember this? This tan, we say sin theta, we put them here, we push this. So, can see? It means this and this will cancel. We're going to have cos theta. This is the answer. As you can see, we started from here and ended here. Okay? Hope this is understood. Thank you for viewing. Let's look at this. If A cos squared theta plus b sin squared theta is equal to c. Show that tan squared theta is equal to c minus a over b minus c. Okay? We already know that what? Tan theta is equal to sin theta over cos theta. We know this. So this is where we are going to drive towards. All we need to just do later is we come back here to say we square the left hand side, we also square the right hand side. Okay? Because I saw square here. If we can first of all solve for sin theta, 
then we suffer for cost theta. At the end of the day, we divide whatever that is sine theta by cos theta. Then we square them, we should get this. That is it. So what we need to do now, this is what is given to us. We are going to come to this place to first of all look for sine theta. Then after, we also look for cos theta. Then we should get the answer. Let's do it. This says a cos square theta plus b sine square theta is equal to c. You also know that what sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Okay? So now let's look for sine square theta here. That is sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. Okay? Now that we have this, let's substitute this in this equation in place of sine square theta. That is a cos square theta plus b. In place of this, we put this. Okay? That is 1 minus cos square theta equals to c. Now, we can find cos square theta now because Remember, we are looking for cos square theta and sin square theta. Okay? Now, let's expand this A cos square theta plus B minus B cos square theta equals to C. Okay? I'm going to move this to this side to have A cos square theta minus B cos square theta equals to C minus B. Okay? What is common between these two is cos square theta. What is remaining here? A. What is remaining here? B. Equals to C minus B. We divide this side by A minus B. Also this one, A minus B. So that this will cancel. Cos square theta is equal to C minus B over A minus B. This one, we are going to resolve it here. Okay? Now we have cos square theta. Let's now also go for what? Sine square theta. Here, we find sine square theta. Let's also find here cos square theta. You agree with me? It's the same thing. Cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta. Okay? Cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta. We are going back to this question given to us here. Okay? We're going to substitute in place of cosine. Going to come here now to say A cos square theta plus B sine square theta equals to C. Okay? Now, in place of cos square theta, we're going to put this. Okay? That is to say, A, 1 minus sine square theta plus B, sine square theta equals to C. We expand this to have okay? Then we move A to this side to have minus sine square theta plus B sine square theta equals to C minus A. Okay? Now, what is common between these two is sine square theta I'm going to put B first, then minus A. Okay? Equals to C minus A. Okay? We divide both sides by B minus A. B minus A. So sine square theta is equals to C minus A over B minus A. Okay? Now we have another one for what? Sine square theta. Now, sine square theta we are looking for is equal to sine square theta over cos square theta. Okay? All we need to do now, what is sine square theta? This is our sine square theta. That's equal to C minus A over B minus A. Then divide by, divide by, 
then we go for cos squared theta. Cos squared theta was what? C minus B over A minus B. C minus B over A minus B. Okay? C minus B over A minus B. Let's work on this now. This is C minus A over B minus A multiplied by A minus B over C minus B. We turn it, okay? As you can see in this place, we can't do anything. So what I will do, I want this and this to cancel. The only way to do that is to also have here A minus B. I want A minus B here, but this is B minus A. How can I make this a minus B without changing it. The only way is to put minus here. Okay? So now, what I put minus here, if you solve this one, I meet this, only this. If you solve it now, you're going to see have minus A plus B, which is B minus A. I did not see the same. It means, therefore, I can replace this particular one with minus A. A minus B multiplied by A minus B over C minus B. So this and this will cancel. Okay? But this minus will still be there. Okay? It means, therefore, we are left with C minus A over minus 1 multiplied by 1 over C minus B. Okay? This and this will give you what? C minus A minus 1 C minus B. Okay? Then if you work out this time, have C minus A over minus C. This multiplied by this will give us what? Plus B. Okay? If you re rearrange this, you have this over B minus C. So this is our tan square theta. Okay? Look at the question. Tan square theta. So our answer is C minus A over B minus C. This is the answer. Remember, we are told what? To prove that tan square theta is equal to C minus A over B minus C. C minus A over B minus C. C minus A. C minus A over B minus C. All this is understood. Thank you for doing. In case you don't understand, go back and look at the steps. Just the steps. Very simple. Just don't forget the steps. Okay? Let's look at this. It says, given that sine alpha is equal to A minus B over A plus B, what is the square root of 1 minus cos square alpha? These are the options. Okay? Let's concentrate here. we we'll come back to this place later. Let's see. As you can see in this place, we have cos square alpha. We have 1. What is remaining? 1 is there. Cos square alpha is there. What should be remaining now is sine square alpha. Which says that what? Sine square alpha. Could be theta, could be anything. Plus cos square alpha is equal to 1. See, all the items are complete now. This is here. This is here. Now, it means that sine square alpha is equal to 1 minus cos square alpha. All we need to do now is to replace everything here with this. Then we're going to have the square root of sine square alpha. Okay? So you will agree with me, you can rewrite this like or as sine alpha square. This and this will cancel. Square will be cancelled by the square root. Remaining sine alpha. Okay? Now let's go back here. As you can see, we were told that sine alpha is equal to a minus b over a plus b. Now we are having this simplification. 
Now this one to be sine alpha. Okay? It means therefore sine alpha, which is this, is the same thing with what we got here. Therefore, the option is A. Okay? It's A. What this question is just trying to test us on is to see if we remember this trigonometry identity. See again, oh, another question. Don't run away, okay? I will make it very simple for you, okay? Very, very simple. It says, if sine theta is equal to m minus n, all over m plus n, find the value of 1 plus tan square theta. No issue. Very easy. Very easy. All you need to do, look at sine theta. Get a diagram. Draw it out. This is theta. So sine means opposite over hypotenuse. That is opposite at the top, hypotenuse on this side. Because opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse. Now, without wasting your time, try and get this place in case you need it. To get here now, remember, you have to say, this side means the square of this side Minus the square of the other side. Then you find the square root of this. Now let's work this out. This also means what? Okay? Which is equal to? This and this m square plus m n m n n square. Okay. We continue. This is m square minus m n minus m n plus n square. Okay. This is equal to. This is m square plus 2mn n square. This is just basic mathematics. Then this is minus m square minus 2mn plus n square. Then we continue. m square plus 2mn n square minus m square plus 2 mn minus n square. Now that we have this, this and this will go. Okay? This and this will go. This and this will add together to become 4 mn. 4 mn. You agree with me that this simply equal to what is the square root of 4? 2. That is 2 square root of m n. So therefore, this place is 2 square root of what? m n. Now that you have this, let's now come back to this place here. It says 1 plus tan squared theta. We should find it. We should find 1 plus tan square theta. I told us something. When tan square theta wake up one day, I say, ah, I need one to be with me like this. Where is it tended to us? Remember? There's another one that says, I also want one that is caught. Where is it tended to us? For tan and one, tan square and one, they go towards says square. What cut square and one they go towards cosec. So this actually, which we are asked to find, actually means sec square theta. 
So what is sex square theta that this one is equal to? What is it? Sec square theta can also be written as sec theta square like this. What is the meaning of sec? Sec means 1 over cosine. That is 1 over cos theta. Okay? Now, coming back to this place, what is the meaning of cosine here? Cosine means adjacent over hypotenuse. 2 square root of mn over m plus n. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So let's go. That is 1 over adjacent over hypotenuse. Everything square. Remember, 1 square is still 1. That's why I'm leaving it like this now. All we can do now is to flip it because of this one at the top. Understand? So therefore, we can say now this is M N M N all over this is 4 multiplied by M N. Because if you square 2, you have 4. If you square this, the square will remove the square root to have mn. If we expand this now, you agree with me, you're going to have m squared plus 2mn plus n squared all over 4mn. Okay? So this is the answer. If you like, you can rearrange it as all over 4mn. So, the question asks us to find this. And we find that this is actually equals to this. And this that is equals to this, we find that even the set is 1 over cosine. Then we find cosine from this diagram. Whatever we had, we simplify it. And this becomes what? Our final answer. All this is understood. Thank you for viewing. I'm going see again, oh. Trigonometry is here again, oh. Let's solve it all run away, okay? I will make it simple for you to understand. Just calm down. As you can see, if cos theta is equal to this, if, and theta is less than 90 degree, calculate this. Don't allow all this jabberish to confuse you. The only thing I see here, First of all, is to concentrate here. This is all I need for now. All I just need to do is to draw a diagram where I can express this if statement. I will put cos theta here, and I know that cosine means adjacent over hypotenuse. This is the adjacent, the one at the top, that is the square root of 3. Hypotenuse is the longest one, which is the 2. Now, there is this one that is remaining. Before I continue, I will just look for it. How do you look for this place? By saying the square of the hypotenuse minus the square of this adjacent, then you find the square root of everything. That is the square root of this square minus this square which is equal to 4 minus 3, which is equal to square root of 1, which is equal to 1. It therefore means that this place is 1. So with this now, we are good to go. Now let's come here. What do you see here? Here. What is this to you? Cut 90 minus theta. Remember, complementary angle. When it is 90 minus theta, the other side is theta. If it is theta here, the other side is 90 minus theta. Remember that. So I want to ask you, what is that string ratio that always complements cot? It's tan. Remember, cosine and sine, they complement each other. Why cot and tan complement each other? 
He dare told me that this upper one alone, you are seeing here, is simply equal to tan theta. That is the meaning. So it means, therefore, what I will do to get this, because they say calculate this, to get this, I will find tan theta for the upper one, then I will get sine theta for this denominator, then I square it. That is this sine theta. So from this diagram now, what do you think is tan theta? Here, tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. That is 1 over the square root of 3. Okay? What is sine theta here? Sine here is opposite over hypotenuse, 1 over 2. But we have square here. Then we need to square this one to say sine square theta. We also square this side to have 1 over 4. So this, for this numerator, and this for this denominator. So we can say, therefore, cut 90 minus theta degree is equal to tan theta. This one is what? Sine square theta, sine square theta. We already know that this upper one is 1 over the square root of 3 all over. This one is 1 over 4. You know what to do next now? This is just to, to flip this to have 4 over 1, which is 4 over the square root of 3. Okay? In mathematics, it is forbidden to leave square root at the denominator. Unless if this question has options and there is something like that, then you can stop. But because this is just without options, I am going to rationalize the denominator using sod. If you don't know sod, go and look at my sod class. I have covered sod in this channel. This and this will give us theory. So this is what we are looking for. Four square root of three over three. Just break it down step by step. Do you remember this? If you remember this, do you remember that? That is mathematics. Not difficult. All this is understood. Thank you for viewing.